belief. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. <laughs> Great movie, my friends. Great movie. Uh, welcome back to my channel. I'm Dieter. This is Papa's Bar. Okay, my friends. Today, I think you can hear it even. It's a nasty day. It's rainy. It's dark. It, it's only 12 o'clock and it looks like it's 6 p.m. already. So I decided to make another video and today it's uh, another common drink here in the United States for the common man. It's called the Christian Brothers Brandy. The uh, price point for this affordable brandy is about $20. So it's, it's not expensive. It's very common. You find it in any store, uh, Walmart, Kroger, Country Mart, King Saver, all, all those stores you find it, any gas station you will find it, it's very very common. It's a uh, bottom shelf brandy, uh, I never had it so I do not know what I get myself into. <laughs> so I hope it tastes okay. Uh, I have done many uh, brandy reviews and cognac reviews as you can see they're all up there. Uh, so far I really didn't have the bad one. Uh, the, the only bad one I really had was the uh, Presidente brandy from Mexico. <laughs> no, no, I did not like it at all. It, it was pretty bad. So I hope today it's gonna go a different way. Um, the Christian Brothers of Brandy is around for a long time. They established themselves in uh, Martinez, California in 1882. They uh, started out with a vineyard there. The property and they had the, 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 on this property had the vineyard there already on. So they made wine out of those grapes. And then in 1940, they experimented around with stuff and came up with a, a batch of brandy. And ever since, it's, it's established that the Christian Brothers make brandy. I do not know if they still make wine. I didn't do that research on that. But they started out with wine. And then in 1940, they established the world, worldwide known Christian Brothers Brandy. This is the VS version. They got other ones too, VS, VSOP and stuff like that. So, but for today, we're going to review the VS version. They're very special. Uh, but on the bottle, it says uh, very smooth, but it actually stands for very special. Uh, then VSOP means very special old pale in uh, uh, the, the cognac version. So we'll see what we get out of that. It's, like I said, it's very popular. Let's uh, see. Uh, my glasses, here we go. If that really tastes as good as it looks. Uh, age statement for that brandy. Uh, I would say it's about four years two to four years of be on the safe side. Uh, so all the brandy is, so better supposed to taste and some more money you gotta dish out. Uh, now this one, as I said in the beginning, is uh, between two and four years old. Since there's no statement on there, I couldn't find anything on the website except in between two and four years. So let's let's go with three years to be on a safe side. It does not have a cork, it got a plastic uh, a plastic cap, which is okay for $20. I mean, you can't expect much. Uh, $50 bottles have a cork in, $35 bottle had a cork in. Uh, plastic cap is fine with me. I mean, it's not made to save throughout the whole year, it's made to drink it. Okay, my friends. Let's pour ourselves a nice one for this nasty day. See here, this like I'm in Missouri, USA. Uh, five months you got no rain at all, and then you got three days with four inches, inches, inches rain per day. It's ridiculous. You, you can't do anything. Uh, my water line broke here at house, and I had to dig a ditch and lay new pipes and all this stuff, and now I'm stuck. Now I'm hooking up to the neighbor's water until I get my, my, my digging and connection done here because I can't do anything yesterday and today. So, <laughs> that's pretty bad. You run out of water, then it rains and you get more water than you need because my ditches with my pipes, they're full of water now so I can't do anything. 
So what do I do? Papa goes to the bar. <laughs> okay, my friends, let's go to the nose. Okay, uh, it looks really nice, the color, you know. I'm 100% sure there's coloring in because you get nothing out of it. It's a very mild, a very, very weak flavor. There's nothing to it. A little oak I'm getting, but that's about it. Man, I, I reviewed cognacs and brandies. You couldn't even smell them, they, they, they smelled so strong. Four year old one, six year old one. This is very, very weak. So I'm a little bit disappointed. I expected more more nose flavor than that, so that's sad, sad, sad. Okay, let's go straight. Go straight to the uh, to the taste and see what we get out of that. I probably out of my experience, this gonna be a, a mixer. You know, you mix it with coke or you put it in your coffee, whatever you prefer. Unfortunately, okay, my friend. Cheers. Remember. I do it for you guys, so you don't go and buy something and then you end up with a bottle you don't like. So you can take my advice and my, my, my reviews to make an educated decision when you go out and try to buy something you haven't had before. Alright, cheers my friends. Ah oh, man. Ah. Uh, okay. Uh, all I'm getting is a little bit of oak flavor. That's it. So as I said in the beginning, that's purely a drinker. You mix it. You want to get a little bit buzz at night. I, re I recommend this. You do not get any flavor out of that. Like this or like this. Those two, Remy Martin and Courbisier, you get flavor out of it. Those are high quality brandies or cognacs because they're from France. They're called cognacs. And American stuff is being called brandy because only when you use grapes out of the cognac region can you call it cognac. Any other grapes used from any other region has got to be called brandy here in America, or when they make it in Germany, they use grapes in Germany, that be, is being called Brandwein. Brandwein. Brand, brandy, Brandwein. Uh, this one is a very weak taste. Uh, uh, I would not use that to sit down by the fire, watch a movie, and try to enjoy it. it because there's nothing to it, unfortunately. It's not bad tasting. I don't bash it because if it would be bad tasting, I would tell you guys it's bad. It sucks, really. Uh, there is nothing to it. It's a very simple alcoholic beverage. That's what I call it. Uh, I actually expected more for twenty-one or twenty-two dollars. It should taste better than that. I mean, this is just to get get yourself drunk, in my opinion because you will not find any caramel taste in there no, neither do you taste the grapes in there or anything like that it's just a very simple non sophisticated drink so on a scale of 1 to 10 my friends I give that for the disappointment uh, I give it a 3 out of 10 really it's not, it tastes bad, it is, it tastes like nothing, that's the thing, it tastes, it, it, it tastes like Budweiser beer, Budweiser beer tastes like nothing, it tastes like water, here is the same, it, it, there's nothing to it, and if any of you guys are brandy drinkers, they are cognac drinkers, you know exactly what I'm talking about, when you drink that for example, Courbisier or Remy Matin, you know what you get out of that, what you get out of that or other uh, quality uh, brandies or cognacs 
If you have that before, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It tastes like water, basically. Really, it's bottled in 40%, so there should be a, a, a lot more a kick in there. You should get, if they say it's between two and four years old, there should be oak flavors from the, because they put it in oak barrels, bourbon barrels. Uh, there should be some flavor in there. Maybe you got Corona. Who knows? <laughs> it's not the case, my friends. But no smell. I know already there's nothing I'm going to get out of it. It's just, unfortunately, it's just a sheep, bottom shelf, get you drunk beverage, in my opinion. So that said, this is video 134, and it's a disappointment. Uh, speaking of that, my friends, uh, my channel is small. I just started it four months ago and we're close to 100 subscribers. We got 98. We need two more. And then we got 100 and then we're going to kick it off. I'm going to find something nice for the, uh, the video number, uh, the, the subscriber number 100. It's going to be fun. Until then, my friends, I appreciate you turning in. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you not have subscribed to my channel yet, do it. Please subscribe. Tell your friends about it. Friends, neighbors, family members, whoever. Uh, so more subscribers I'm getting, uh, so more videos I'm going to make. All right. Any comments, please leave it down below. Any positive, of course. Any negative, keep it to yourself. All right. No, I'm kidding. You got negative comments, put them down. If they are not offensive, I leave them. If they're offensive, if you're cussing around, I'm going to remove them and I'm going to block that person. Until then, my friends, thank you very much. I'm Dieter. This is Papa's Bar. Bye-bye.